Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission has implemented a motion to enhance a proposed settlement concerning widespread consumer billing issues that affected customers of PPL electric utilities through much of 2023. Good evening, I'm Aaron Levy. And I'm Ann Lurie. The commission voted 3-2 to two to approve a joint motion between the PUC's Independent Bureau of Investigation and Enforcement and PPL. It's an issue people in the Commonwealth have voiced their frustration on about seeing their bills much higher than expected due to a, quote, technical issue. And with nearly a year-long investigation, the Pennsylvania Public Utilities Commission says it is prudent to revise the terms. Fox 56 is Taylor Wharton be live tonight with more on this. Taylor. Aaron and Ann, this settlement orders PPL to donate $1 million to the Customer Hardship Fund. There was a $1 million uh, suggested in the proposed settlement, um, the enhanced settlement, for uh, to go into a fund to help these people that feel they never got properly adjusted. State Representative Jim Haddock of the 118th Legislative District says, so far we have had a year where bills have been stable and this report will ensure the proper steps were taken. According to PUC, PPL contributing money to the hardship fund will help customers with income at or below 250% of the federal poverty level to pay their electric bills, keep their electric service on, and receive referrals to other assistant programs. Then there was reporting. PPL has to make a better report, a more accurate report, a more detailed report to exactly see what happened and explain it and come clean with that. This came following a deeper look at more than 1,600 comments filed by concerned people about PPL's billing issues and the proposed settlement. A year ago's heating season, people felt that they overpaid their bills. There was still a lot of uh, large bills that people were not paying, they were unable to pay, and the settlement uh, did several things that was proposed and it would cost PPL about $16 million in hard and soft costs. But I felt, number one, the report was inadequate. We did not get enough information as to uh, what it exactly transpired. So I'm excited about this, this new proposed settlement, this enhanced settlement from the directors of the PUC. It was a, a three to two vote. I'm glad three people stood with the consumers. I'm glad they heard the cries of guys like myself in the legislature that said, hey, you can't do this to Pennsylvania residents. I spoke to a resident of Drums. She shares she's been a customer of PPL for five years. It's been horrible. It's been horrible. I've been, um, the bill's horrible. I've been paying for 500 a month. And the thing is that, um, I, I went on vacation for a little while and my house was completely like closed. No, no lights on, nothing at the bill. It still came up to like four or five hundred, which I don't understand why. People deserve to know what's going on and the prices definitely needs to be lower. PPL released a statement saying they appreciate the commission considering this matter and will review the order once it becomes available. They will continue to build upon the significant work they already have done to support their customers, continuously improve their service, and prevent a billing issue like this from occurring again. PPL and i &E have a 20-day window to withdraw if they decide. Reporting live in Wilkesbury, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. Taylor, thanks, and the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission